In this video, we're going to show some of the differences between an oxy or oxygen acetylene brazing rig and an air acetylene or air swirl brazing rig. Both of these setups can be used for both brazing and soldering in HVAC applications, including the repair of aluminum, although I prefer the air acetylene for that purpose. Here we're showing a turbo torch air swirl brazing rig because that is the type that I use personally. The approximate temperature of an oxygen acetylene torch is 4,700 degrees Fahrenheit at the tip. An air acetylene is approximately 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, there is some variation. Oxygen acetylene torches heat the base material faster with a more concentrated flame than air acetylene. Air acetylene has a larger flame. Generally speaking, setting up an oxygen acetylene torch rig requires a bit more complexity than air acetylene. That's because the air acetylene fuel to oxygen ratio has to be manually set on an oxygen acetylene rig, but is automatically set with the air drawn into the torch and mixed with the acetylene gas in an air acetylene rig. Oxyacetylene requires using a striker and controlling the flow of oxygen acetylene at the torch handle as well as at the regulators. An air acetylene rig has only a single handle and in many cases uses a push button spark light at the handle as shown in this video with this turbo torch tip. Here you can see how air is drawn into the torch tip via the ports on the side. And then the fuel and air are mixed via a swirl inside the tip. This results in a safe mixture of air and acetylene. Here you can see that the oxygen acetylene tip creates a more concentrated, higher temperature, smaller flame. The air acetylene creates a broader flame, which wraps around and heats more of the joint at one time, but slower. Because the oxygen acetylene is higher intensity, it requires more care not to burn through the copper. When using air acetylene, you have to be aware that more heat projects convectively from the torch, meaning heat extends further beyond the tip than it does with oxygen acetylene. In other words, it's not as concentrated. This means you have to take more care to protect the work area behind where you're brazing. Again, oxygen acetylene is more precise with higher temperature. Air acetylene projects more heat out convectively and may require more protection behind the work area. Here we show the new refrigeration technologies Viper Wet Rag Heat Shield, which is ideal for protecting surfaces behind both air acetylene and oxyacetylene work areas. It can also be used wet for additional protection. Here you can see it being used to protect the paint of an air handler cabinet as well as to protect the surfaces below. In summary, air acetylene has lower concern of burning through the tubing, but a slightly higher concern of heating or damaging downstream components in the area. Both can be used to braze and solder. Air acetylene cannot be effectively used to weld or cut steel. Air acetylene has more of a wraparound flame than a concentrated flame. Generally speaking, air acetylene torches are less expensive than oxyacetylene torches, have fewer cylinders to carry, and require no oxygen. Because of this, they are lighter. In addition to this, you don't have to have a pressurized oxygen tank on your vehicle, which makes it safer. My recommendation is generally for newer technicians to begin to learn to braze using air acetylene and that technicians use an oxygen acetylene rig when they need to work inside of equipment where a more precise flame is needed, for example, brazing in an expansion valve or internal components of a system. I also recommend an air acetylene brazing rig with a three or five tip when repairing aluminum, as shown in a prior video. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.